Okay, we're going to show you the array command. It actually is quite simple, but you need to be pointed out how the new array command works exactly. I'm going to assume you know how to draw a rectangle representing your paver. So take care of that first, which I've done here. This one is 300 by 600. Okay, first thing I want to do is either invoke the array command and then select the rectangle or vice versa. I'll select the rectangle, hit the array command, and then we have to follow our command prompts down here, okay? First thing it says is count. That means uh, you need to hit enter just to accept that you want to do a count. This is where you enter the number of rows being one for rows. I'm going to say 10 for columns. And then the spacing, this is not the spacing between the pavers or rectangles. This is the spacing for the overall. So if you have six meters, you type in six meters, six, one, two, three and enter. Now the only other option now is exit. That means exit the command because I'm done. And there you have it. Now if you just select the array, the array toolbars come up, up at the top, the ribbon, and you can see if there's 10 pavers, they're spaced 666 millimeters apart. I'll show you what that means by using the measure tool. From the start of one to the start of another is 666 we don't want that. We want 300 spacing between them. So we click on the array command and we simply say move that spacing to 600. Okay? And we're done. And you can play with the rest of the, the tool here uh, just to show you. Look, okay, well let's put, um, let's put another one in and then make it 600 again. Um, then we have 11 evenly spaced over 6 meters. And that ends the lesson.